What's going on, you Yeehawk Show TCG faithful? This is Ian, and I am coming at you with my second video for uh, my current series that I'm doing. Um, so this one is just a recap on some of the autograph cards that I have and some of the new ones that I've picked up. Um, since the last autograph video I did, uh, I managed to find a couple, uh, quite a few new things. Um, so I just kind of wanted to take you through and so you guys can take a look at everything. Um, sorry, this is supposed to be the second video, but it's the one, the last one that's coming up. Um, I was having some uploading issues earlier, so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you've seen my last video, uh, you've seen this uh, use case set before that's signed by Justin Cook. So uh, the first autographs that I'm going to show you um, are going to be all by Justin Cook and uh, probably the ones that I have the most of. So I got two poos from Betrayal, both of the Dark Tournaments. Uh, one of the Gateway League promos. This is a double rainbow one, as you can see in the uh, uh, light right here. It has the two vertical lines. Uh, then next page, we got three bullseyes. One is a jagged, and then two are line. Uh, I got two use, or sorry, three use case furies, all first edition. One says uh, love, hate, and it's over. Uh, I got a playset of the overwhelming kills. <laughs> And then uh, two play sets of the halts from the uh, first Ghost File set. Um, so those are pretty cool. And they all have their own little Woody saying on them that he likes to write on them. Uh, and then three bursts of powers that all say draw three. Next page, uh, we got one of each Power Strike, one of the promos, one of the original uh, pack versions. The uh, promo burst of power. And I got something for you, Cloudy Foil. Foil pattern as best I can in that. There you go, you can kind of see it. Uh, Death of a Hero, which has a little funny saying. It says, uh, you mean he dies in the first episode, so that's pretty good. Um, then the um, matching Tainted Glare uh, for Yusuke. Uh, I have a Sanctuary, Yusuke's Alliance, and In Shadow. Uh, and then the last few autos from him, I have a Sacrifice of Life, Team Yuri Togi on the Hunt, and a fourth overwhelming kill, and then also a torture, forlorn hope, and use case altar. And then we'll get into uh, some Chris Abbott. And I, I forgot, I do have two cards signed by Chris Abbott and Justin Cook. So you can see both of these here, and they have little funny sayings on them. And then I have a uh, Kitty Love by Chris Abbott. Then uh, I got a playset of the Power Strikes from the original set my Kubara and Tainted Glare matching set. They're both double rainbow. Um, and then a line foil uh, white suit Kubara. Uh, I got three Yoko signed by John. And uh, all in silver, all first edition. And then I have my fourth one. That's an unlimited signed in black. And then I have the two Karamas from the Dark Tournament and Gateway uh, League sets. And a uh, playset of Cloudy Unconscious, uh, first edition, as well as the uh, Karama Tainted Glare. So, unfortunately, Hiei is the only one I don't think I have as the Tainted Glare set. I have all th uh, three out of the four. Um, and then I got a Karama's Last Stand, and then the Hiei Rare from the first set. Uh, and then, uh, if you've seen my previous videos, um, these are all the Hiei's that I've personally gotten signed by Chuck. Um, so I have the majority of the main character cards from him and some of the um, more notable and playable um, events. And then the next page I got all the Sunny Street stuff. So I got three Darkness Approaches, um, two Decoys, three Kamiya um, character cards, and then the Sense We Team bonus. Um, and then I got the Kyle Bear Karsu card signed. I got uh, seven of those. Um, and then I have two from Vic McNaga. This one I managed to get done in person at Akon in uh, 2013. So that was really cool. He, he only signs a few cards or a few things at a time. So I got this and a uh, Brawly card signed by him. Uh, and then this one I managed to get off of Scott Sager. Um, and then a majority of these other ones I'm going to show you I got from Scott. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, I wish I'd managed to get all these signed in person. But... Uh, a lot of these actors don't really travel very often, so I got one of each from the Tagoro brother. This one I did si get signed by myself was the Bruce Elliott. Um, got the Shishi Wakamaru, 
Uh, not sure who signed this one. I'm still trying to figure it out. It, it doesn't really look like Shishi's um, signature, so I can't really say. It's just kind of in this binder. And then I got two signed by the voice actors of Toya, which these I've never really seen, or I don't even think this guy is in the States, maybe? Or he might be in somewhere else. I'm not sure where he is. Uh, and then I got one from Risho. My favorite ones, three juries. Um, and then I got three Laura, Laura Bailey signatures on Schoolgirl outfits, three Linda Young playset uh, foil first edition fighter and trainings. Um, and then one Halt signed by Linda Young. My only coda that I managed to get signed, all the other ones that Scott had uh, were addressed directly to him. So this is about the closest one I could get to a generic one. It says Happy Holidays, but it's still pretty cool to have it, and I'd like Koto a lot. Uh, and then another Laura Bailey, uh, Keiko's Promise, that I got. Uh, I have two from Kent Williams, which are really cool. I like <laughs> the Ogre Killer is awesome. And then Substitute is a staple for the card game itself. Um, this one I'm still trying to figure it out. I think it's IQs, but I, I could be wrong on that. Or it might just be some random person that was playing the card game and liked it. So he signed it. So who knows. And then two Su Suzaku. And then one Keto, which I don't think I've ever seen a signature by this person. So this is a really neat one for me to have. Um, a little bit of a rare one. And then the last signature I have is the uh, Game is a Foot signed by Adam Sheehan. Uh, he wasn't a voice actor. He works for Funimation now. Used to work for Score, but he actually designed this card. So I, I thought it was something pretty cool um, to actually meet the designer of the card, especially one that's pretty useful like this and um, a really cool card. So, uh, but yeah, that's the auto binder update that I got. If you guys have any uh, questions or um, maybe have some autographs that you want to share of yourself, feel free to post. Or if you have some that you're trying to sell or want to know the value of them, um, message me. I mean, I'm, I'm always, this is really what I collect now is just autographs and random production stuff at this point. Um, unless some other random double rainbows pop up in this game. Hopefully not. <laughs> so anyway, guys, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to comment. Have a good one.